the Alpine Fault. A fascinating geological feature indeed. You see, my dear friends, the Earth's crust is made up of several large morphological plates that are constantly moving and interacting with one another. The Alpine Fault, as you mentioned, is a significant limit between the Pacific Plate and the Australian Plate, located on the picturesque Southland Island of New Zealand. A recent study published in the journal Tectonics has indeed shed new light on the Upland Fault, revealing that it is larger than previously believed, extending over 800 kilometers and can produce big earthquakes. This is a remarkable discovery, as it demonstrates the ever-evolving nature of our sympathy for the Earth's geological processes. The identification of smaller faults branching away from the main fault line is also an intriguing finding. These subsidiary faults could potentially lead to hyperbolic earthquake activity in certain areas, making the Alpine Fault even more complex and potentially dangerous than previously thought. With a 30% chance of a John R. Major earthquake occurring on this continent within the next 50 years, it is important for New Zealand to take these findings into the description in their earthquake preparedness efforts. As a scientist, I am always interested in the intricate works of nature, and the Alpine Fault is no exception. It is a reminder that our planet is a dynamic and ever-changing system, and that we must continually strain to better sympathize with and adapt to its complexities. In the context of seism preparedness, it is a requirement for governments, scientists, and citizens alike to work collectively to develop operational monitoring and mitigation strategies. This includes investing in advanced seismic monitoring equipment, improving building codes and infrastructure, and educating the populace about earthquake refuge measures. In conclusion, the new findings at the Alpine Fault serve as a reminder of the importance of ongoing scientific research and collaboration. By deepening our understanding of the Earth's geological processes, we can better prepare for and respond to the challenges posed by natural disasters such as earthquakes. As I have always believed, pursuing knowledge is not only a noble endeavor, but also a practical one that tiny helps us produce a safer and more resilient world. I think these videos are brilliant, and I'm sure you will like them too. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell.